New Bern, Craven County, two people have pled guilty and were sentenced for trafficking in heroin, according to District Attorney Scott Thomas. Jonathan Rice, 26, of Newport and Shirley Bramer, 30, of Hallock each entered guilty pleas this week to charges from trafficking in heroin. Rice was sentenced to between 7.5 to 10 years in prison and was given a mandatory $100,000 fine. Bramer was placed on probation for five years. District Attorney Scott Thomas announced that, in Craven County Superior Court this week, Jonathan Rice, 26, of Newport, and Shirley Bramer, 30, of Hallock, entered guilty pleas to charges arising out of trafficking in heroin. Senior Resident Superior Court Judge John Nobles presided at this term of court, and the cases were prosecuted in court by Assistant District Attorney Jack Asha Hookins. In May 2018, Craven County Sheriff's Office narcotics investigators had an outstanding warrant to be served on Rice. They encountered him at the couple's residence in New Bern, where Rice answered the door. He had a handgun in his back pocket when he did, which was taken from him. He asked to retrieve a cell phone before being taken into custody, and when investigators followed him to a bedroom where the phone was, they encountered Bramer as well. In plain view, investigators saw two clear plastic bags containing powder on the bed. At that point, they secured a residence and obtained a search warrant from a magistrate. The search revealed cutting agents, a vacuum-sealed package containing powder packed in rice, tablets, a pill crusher, a revolver, a pump shotgun, scales, suboxone strips, packaging materials, and hundreds of dollars in cash. All suspected drugs were tested at the state crime lab for controlled substances and returned positive for heroin. Rice pled guilty to trafficking in heroin between 14 and 27 grams and possession of heroin with intent to sell or deliver. Judge Nobles sentenced him to 9120 months in prison, 712 to 10 years, and imposed a mandatory $100,000 fine. He ordered all money recovered at the scene to be forfeited, and the firearms were turned over to the sheriff's office. Bramer pled guilty to attempted trafficking in heroin, between 4 and 13 grams, and possession of heroin. Judge Nobles sentenced her to 27 to 51 months, but in light of her record, suspended that sentence and placed her on probation for five years. He ordered Bramer to undergo substance abuse treatment, to pay all court costs, and to work full-time while on probation. If she is not employed full-time, then she will be subject to a curfew from 5 p.m. to 7 m for the entire five years.